Hello everybody, this is Vlad Kerm of the USSRphoto.com uh, Hi to all the members uh, of the forum and here's the promised uh, little video review of this uh, very interesting um, camera that I got in mail from Ukraine that a lot of people seem to think to have something to do with some uh, law enforcement in uh, Ukraine or Russia um, It's basically is like a Smena 8M camera if you look at it closely, uh, this is the back of one span at the end, this is the back of another. Uh, it seems like all the viewfinders on it are completely closed. So uh, the previous theory that it had some kind of prism in it uh, is kind of a little confusing because I don't see any prism inside. Uh, this viewfinder is closed, this is closed, so there's no, unfortunately, no SLR-like functionality. But the mechanics inside are pretty amazing. There's a there's a lens in front of this camera, but they are non-functioning. Even though there's glass in it, if I open this up, it's like a little pressure lock with two 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 screws here. Uh, the lens they terminate. I mean, there's nothing in here. If you look at it, it's a little came out. Um, so it's. Obviously only here just for show uh, this uh, they serve no functional purpose whatsoever uh, Inside on this side it all seems like nothing has been really modified uh, The film chamber is intact uh, There is a custom kind of metal plate at the bottom and there is some something on it Which I couldn't figure out what this thing is for um, maybe, maybe possibly something to mount it on, on, on something. <laughs> uh, so this side is kind of not very interesting. Uh oh, it's already coming apart. Okay. Uh, if we open this side here, this is what where, where it becomes very interesting. Uh, there's a little wine here. It actually. Uh, actually winds up the uh, the, sh the shutter release over here with a little string if you look at it I, I, I rotate it uh, okay now the shutter is wound this is what that key is for and Luis Paracampo from our forum seems to think this is from a alarm clock called Visna uh, the shutter seems to work with this button up here Again, there's a custom plate in here, and there's a little uh, bubble level in here as well. Uh, it's all very nicely cut out, very clean work. I mean, it seems to be some kind of plastic covering on top of the metal little plate. Uh, there's a lens and a filter here, and and, and the filter comes off, um, and underneath there's just clear lens. So it seems like another UV, UV filter that was put on top, um, and there's a there's a lens in here with a mechanism and it's all coupled although there's all this clockwork gear mechanism so there's a little uh, uh, there's a focus distance there's a little scale on top too that it actually rotates the lens and on top there's another uh, gear that uh, changes the aperture if you see this little uh, Aperture ring is rotating here. Very interesting. Uh, so, and there's something that puzzled me here on the front. There's a thing that closes, so you can actually close this little lens opening uh, that that shoots to the side. And I guess it may have been done to. Again, this kind of proves the theory about this camera being made for spying purposes, because this will kind of prevent somebody from uh, seeing that there's another lens in here and there's a serial number in it if you look closely 3538-76 that uh, Bill Parkinson on the website uh, put forward a theory that this actually looks like a, a KGB numbering uh, in the KGB workshop so the 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 Gear work in this camera is absolutely astounding. I mean, there's a lot of work been, has been put on, put into it. Um, there's um, 
there's a shoe mount on top and 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 seems like the shutter release is tied to original Smena 8M camera inside of it. So literally th this seems like it's made to shoot forward. And uh, there's a little uh, film counter here and I think something cracked here. I think it's back in place. Uh, so this wind actually winds up the camera. This fires it and the lens seems to be operational inside. Um, so if you guys, guys have any questions feel free to post it on the forum so I'll be glad to post any kind of a detailed answer to this. It's a very interesting little piece. Take care.